Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see shun positive clipper with positive bias. As we know that clipper is a circuit which is used to clip off or remove positive or negative half cycle of AC input signal. Shunt positive clipper removes positive half cycle of AC input signal but the word shunt indicates the diode is connected in parallel with the load resistance RL and its working is exactly opposite as compared to series clipper. In case of shunt clipper whenever diode is forward bias it blocks the input signal and nothing appears across the output and whenever diode is reversed bias it acts as an open switch and therefore it allows output to appear in the waveform. So now let's see how shunt positive clipper with positive bias work. So now from the diagram we will come to know that the diode D is connected parallel with the resistance R and positive bias indicates that the battery VB that means the additional supply voltage is connected in a such a way that it positive biases the diode that means the positive terminal of battery is connected to N and negative terminal of battery is connected to P. So now let's see what will happen during positive half cycle. In positive half cycle terminal A becomes positive and terminal B becomes negative therefore the P side of diode is now connected to the positive terminal A and N side of diode is connected to the negative terminal B. Therefore, during positive half cycle, the input voltage VI makes the diode forward bias. Whereas, battery is connected in a such a way that the positive terminal is connected to N side and negative terminal is connected to P side. Therefore, the battery voltage VB makes the diode reversed bias. Now, during positive half cycle, when input voltage is less than battery voltage, that means the battery voltage is dominating one. In that case, that as battery voltage makes the diode reversed bias, therefore it will act as open switch and output appears across the load resistance RL. Now let's see from the waveform. Now in the waveform, during the interval 0 to T, when VI is less than VB, the voltage VB is dominating one, therefore it allows some signal to flow at the output. Now when VI is greater than VB, then as the input voltage is dominating one, it makes the diode forward bias, the diode acts as a closed switch, therefore nothing appears across the output. Therefore in the interval, T2, T2 output is remains 0. Again when input is less than in battery voltage VB, the diode acts as a reverse bias, it will act as open switch and allows the signal to appear across the output. Therefore we will get some signal at the output. Now during negative half cycle, terminal A becomes negative and terminal B becomes positive. In this half cycle, the P terminal of diode is now connected to negative terminal A and N terminal of diode is connected to positive terminal B. Now in negative half cycle as negative terminal is connected to P side, positive terminal is connected to N side, therefore the input voltage VI makes the diode reversed bias. And the battery is connected in a such a way that positive is connected to N and negative is connected to P, therefore VP also makes diode reversed bias only. As both input as well as battery voltage makes the diode reversed bias, so irrespective of whether input is greater than or less than battery voltage, the diode always acts in the reverse bias condition. Therefore, it acts as an open switch only and whatever signal we are giving at the input, the same signal appears at the output. 
So during negative half cycle, we will get complete negative half cycle in the output signal. So this is how the signal looks in negative half cycle. Now if you see the complete waveform of positive shunt clipper with positive bias, the waveform looks like during positive half cycle when input is less than battery voltage signal appears across output. When input is greater than battery voltage nothing appears across output. Again when input is less than battery voltage then signal flows across output and during negative half cycle as both battery and input signal makes the diode reversed bias therefore it allows the signal to appear across output and will get complete negative half cycle in the output waveform. So this is how a shunt positive clipper with positive bias works. I hope you understand the working of this. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.